The spoilers for One Piece Chapter 1114 have come out, although originally this chapter wasn't supposed to come out this week. But now that the spoilers are out, the chapter will most likely be released within two days. So in the last chapter, we saw that Vegapunk's message had started, and Vegapunk had made a big announcement, sending a message to the entire world that our world is going to sink soon into the ocean. And despite the Gorosei's best efforts to stop this message, they couldn't. Saturn, Mars, and Mercury were discussing that we should just blow up the egghead. But Mercury informs them that if we blow up the egghead, we won't be able to produce Mother Flame. And time was running out, and Vegapunk's message had already started. So chapter 1114 also starts from here with the issue's title, which is allegedly Icarus Wings. Icarus Wings are a symbol of ambition and the consequences of overreaching. In Greek mythology, Icarus wore wings made of feathers and wax, but he flew too close to the sun, causing the wax to melt and him to fall to his demise. It's often used as a cautionary tale about the dangers of hubris and excessive ambition. This is most likely a reference to Vegapunk flying too close to the sun, and from the sun here you must have understood that Luffy, also known as Sun God Nika. So Vegapunk is going to reveal a lot about the Void Century and Nika in this chapter. So even now, people from all over the world are listening to Vegapunk's message, and finally Vegapunk start to discuss the Void Century in his message. But even though Vegapunk has talked about the Void Century, he himself doesn't know in detail what exactly happened during the Void Century, because many of Ohara's books were burnt, so he couldn't collect much much information about the Void Century. But in this chapter, he has revealed quite a bit about the Void Century and what exactly it is. We will only find out when the chapter comes. Vegapunk claims that there was once a young man named Joy Boy from the Ancient Kingdom 900 years ago. Vegapunk also claims he had the power of stretching, which obviously connected to Luffy. Likewise, the confirmation that Joy Boy was alive at the start of the Void Century is equally exciting as the possibility that Luffy and the original Joy Boy had the same powers. Unfortunately, the currently available spoilers don't go into much more detail here, but we can expect additional information as the week progresses. Likewise, they then claim that the Mother Flame weapon is seen in this chapter. It's said to be a flame underwater in a tank, which is certainly a confusing claim in and of itself. But if you don't know what the Mother Flame is, it's the same weapon with which the Gorosai erased the existence of Lulusha Kingdom from map. Then further on, we see that Vegapunk's message reveals so much about Joy Boy. The Void century and the impending doom of this world, causing everyone who was listening to the message to discuss and react to what might happen next. What's happening? Why is Vegapunk giving such a message? And right at this moment, our chapter ends, but there's a break next week because the chapter that was supposed to come next week is coming this week instead. So now everyone knows about the history. The world government was trying so hard to conceal it, like changing the names of the D-Clan members on their bounty posters and whatnot. But Vegapunk has shaken the Emu Samus throne with this message. I was expecting to see Emo's reaction too, but it didn't happen. No worries, maybe we'll find out in the full chapter. The video ends here, but feel free to share your opinions in the comments about how you liked the chapter and enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. Until next time, goodbye!